sit back, relax, it's the Cinema Lounge. So, welcome to a little place I call the Cinema Lounge, where we uh, sit back, relax, and warm up our vocals a bit before the main podcast. Um. <clears throat> Yay! So, of course, we talked about vampire films last time, and Dracula Untold came out. Uh, recently, um, before the movie came out, they did reshoots to connect with a newly announced uh, Universal Monsters Cinematic Universe. So you had to say that about ten times. Universal Monsters Cinematic Universe? <laughs> yeah, that's a, a big mouthful. I mean, Universal and Universe is... In the same title. Universal Universe. Okay. <laughs> From the the, pun, the, the uh, Department of Redundancy Department. Exactly. So, um, yeah, so Dracula, Un- Dracula Untold is like the first in the series of the Universal Monsters Cinematic Universe. Uh, they announced that they're going to do The Mummy in 2016. I believe there was uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon, Frankenstein, The Wolfman, The Invisible Man, and Van Helsing. So far. Yeah, there's... Again, Van Helsing? Yeah, I guess so. You gotta... If you gotta have Dracula, you might as well just have Van Helsing in it. Hmm. Yeah, they... uh, Well, they have to see whether or not... Uh, how well is Dracula Untold actually doing? Oh, that's actually a good question. I do not know. I can check that out. Hold on a sec. Uh, well, do you mean like box office wise or critic wise or a little bit of both? Well, critic critic one. Critic wise, I think it was like so so. Yeah, it's only on IMDb. It's like six point one out of ten. So. Eh, so far it's doing. Okay, I mean it got so far it got uh, forty million dollars domestically and uh, about more than one hundred and thirty-five million worldwide. Yeah. It's yeah. it's okay. It's okay. It's, like it's, I'm, it's gonna get its money back. So yeah, yeah. I haven't seen the film, so I don't know what they added in at the end to connect it to the rest of the universe. Well, uh, I don't know, perhaps they, uh, they flash forward several hundred years in the future and, uh, and follow it up with, uh, Brennan Fraser for The Mummy, <laughs> I was, uh, I, I, branch. Somebody did compare it to Marvel, of course, like, saying, like, Dracula is, like, Captain America of the group. <laughs> <laughs> So, I don't so know. what are you telling us? There's 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 gonna be like a universal, uh, universal monster Avengers of it's some sort. Some, uh, that's what I'm trying to think. Like they might have like a big monster movie like leading up to it, like and it, and it will be called the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. <laughs> from the uh, from the the wastebasket of failed ideas. Either that, they could do, like, a reboot of an action-packed Hotel Transylvania. That can work, too. <laughs> That'd be awesome. That actually would. I mean, at least they'll take it seriously. And, this, and there'll be no Johnny, so that could be a plus. <laughs> yeah, that could work. Yeah, it could be. I mean, I guess, you know, Universal's known for that iconic moment with Universal Monsters back in the mm-hmm. 40s and 50s, and then, like, you know what, let's just cash in, reboot it, have a new generation check it out. You know, maybe... But there's they... an idea. Uh, wasn't... Technically, wasn't the uh, the Universal... Weren't the Universal Monsters of the, of the 30s and 40s the predecessor to this sort of idea? Yeah. Because they had... They had, um... Not just all the... All, the solo monster movies, but they had crossovers and they had spoofs and they had they had mm-hmm. freaking they had Abbott and Costello actually be canon with the mm-hmm. uh, with the Universal franchise. So exactly, and that's what Universal's trying to do again with this whole new rebooted series. 
You know, I will admit, I do kind of like the idea of trying to reboot the Universal Monsters because the only person out there that's trying to keep like the spirit of the Universal Monsters alive is actually James Rolfe with Cinemassacre's Monster Madness, pretty much retelling every story like of all the like of all the 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 horror movies of young, of uh, of before mm-hmm. and like so seeing the comeback of like uh, the univer- of the Universal Monsters in a way that's not like comical or for the kids or anything like that that's actually taken seriously that's actually a really interesting step you know and in a way it's like if history is repeating itself like keep in mind this is not the first time that we see that um the universal monsters are being rebooted because during the 70s there was the um hammer films yeah i think yeah it's the hammer films which would mostly feature christopher lee Mm -hmm. being uh, dracula and stuff like that so, and like, so definitely. So like, I could see this happen. And even um, what's interesting with Dracula Untold is that in a way you can see that being, this is how movies are, like. It kind of shows how movies are nowadays. Kind of like with how, univer the the first Universal monsters kind of reflect of how movies are during the 30s, and then the Hammer films how things normally are or at least with horror films in the 70s with like that really puts emphasis on the gore and the nudity and like all the big bullet points of like the rating system and then you have like nowadays with dracula untold being more action-packed and trying to really try to make a spin on things like trying to bring up a new origin to the characters, try to show them in a new light instead of being a villain. So, I, like, I feel like this is another step of Universal Monsters just progressing into our generation, in a sense. Yes, yes, I totally um, Or blending generations. I'm, I'm not so sure about my generation, because I, I, I still outrank you guys age-wise all right right yeah <laughs> right. a little bit a little bit a little bit yeah a little bit yeah me a lot <laughs> of course you're the he's the youngest but um and i'm the junior well can't you tell can't you tell by all of this by all of this <laughs> monsters inc wolf's rain oh wait You've got... I got Mickey, I got Kirby, I got Kingdom Hearts, I got Yu-Gi-Oh, I got... Well, I got Phantom of the Opera and the Clockwork Orange, but still, I can show you my whole room. I can out-kid you. So... I'm, I'm fine with that. So we'll... I'm, I'm actually growing up. Uh-oh, it's a kid off. <laughs> Round one. Pokemon. That's it. Mom! <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> uh, based on what I'm seeing here, I guess the next Universal monster film is going to be the Wolfman coming out next year. Hmm. Which they tried to revive at one point, that. but it didn't really work. It's on IMDb. And like we didn't just see that a couple years ago, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was saying. I guess that that one didn't really work out as yeah, much. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll discuss that in the main episode. Mm-hmm. Anywho. Oh, no, I think I know why. Okay. I got the explanation right in my head. Ow. Got of it. And then in 2016, it would be The Mummy. And then the rest will fill in as time goes by. Uh, I guess Frankenstein's going to be directed by Guillermo Yer- del Toro. Yama- oh, Guillermo del Toro's doing Frankenstein? Uh, that's what it says on IMDb, apparently. What? Out of his, like, 10,000 projects that he wants to do? <laughs> Yeah, he's a very busy man. I don't know, he might squeeze it in somehow. Doesn't Why don't they get it. Kenneth Graham to do it? Mm-hmm. If, or Kenneth Graham. Oh, oh right, because he already did it. The Invisible Man. I've seen too many uh, bad Invisible Man movies, like The Hollow Man. Kevin Bacon as the Invisible Man. Uh. Mm. No, wait, I'm thinking of Kenneth Branagh. Never mind. 
Although it might be, it must be very easy to do an Invisible Man nowadays. You just you just bring out a guy in like one of those green suits that you would see in cosplays and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Just yeah. wear it all. Uh, the Invisible Man movie is going to be taking place during World War II, by the way. And it will be called. So is he going to fight Nazis? Uh, see, during World War II, when the nephew of scientist Jack Griffin discovers his uncle's formula for achieving invisibility, British intelligence cohere a way for him to aid the war effort. Ah. So, I've yeah, this when the Invisible there's... Man is trying to fight Nazis. I've heard of this one. Isn't they, aren't they trying to call it uh, Hollow Man Origins? <laughs> Could be. Hopefully, uh, hopefully this new universe gets more developed as time goes by, and and, and then get, like the real fun will begin. Never happened. <laughs> hopefully, the real fun begins after. Maybe they'll years. reboot Abbott and Costello meets Frankenstein. <laughs> they'll make they'll it action packed. And, it, and it'll have Seth Rogen and Jonah Hill. <laughs> or, hmm, maybe... No, it's Abbott and Costello meets Frankenstein, Resurrection. <laughs> because... I meet I, Frankenstein. God. This is, the one, this is the one where Dracula resuscitates a sexy <laughs> zombie. No, actually, if they um, want to revive, no, if they want to revive that, they're gonna make Twenty One Jump Street meets Frankenstein. That'd be <laughs> awesome. Shoot me now. Just shoot me now. Oh, Phil, man. Chris, I got an idea for you. Do it now. <laughs> I don't know you anymore. Oh my god. Here's an idea. How about Godzilla versus Frankenstein? They were about to make... Well, technically they were about to make that, but... The, no, I... Yeah, they were about to make that, but that turned into Godzilla versus King Kong. They did that already, didn't they? It's, oh my um, it's I don't some, know. It's something familiar. It's, um... It... It has to do with Frankenstein, though. It was in the some kaiju stuff. I no, no, no. Like Toho has their version of Frankenstein, but they did not have that really interact with Godzilla. But there was at one point when uh, one of the creators of the original Frankenstein movie wanted to do something with Godzilla, but uh, that changed uh, into Godzilla versus King Kong. Oh no, wait, no. No, 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 no. It's Frankenstein versus King Kong, I think. I think it's that. It, it could be. I, I know. I, it's, it's in my head somewhere. I, I heard it somewhere. It's yeah, like... I think it's Willis O'Brien wanted to make King Kong versus Frankenstein, but then Toho got it and replaced Frankenstein with Godzilla. I think that's the thing. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> Tell us in the comments below if we're wrong. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, so it's that's... something like that. I know I'm right at one point. <laughs> Can you dig it? Ha 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 